in this tutorial we'll see what is model driven programmability and how we can use that for network automation model driven programmability means multiple vendors are trying to implement same data models and interfaces across all the network devices they are trying to use data models to represent network elements once this is standardized across all the vendors instead of vendor specific CLIs we can use standard data models to configure any feature here you can see using standard interfaces help network engineers to utilize the protocols like netconf restconf or grpc these are not vendor specific protocols these are rfc defined standard protocols for configuring network devices and all these are using yang data model so here one thing to remember is netconf restconf and grpcs are protocols and yang is going to be the data model later we'll see the details of yang now we'll see the device support matrix so here you can see the supported device list and software versions these netconf and restconf protocols are supported by ios xe we'll be using csr 1000v for the demonstration it is even supported in ios xr and nxos you can see the minimum version to use these features and here you can see some rfc documentations of yang and netconf let me open yang documentation so yang is a data modeling language used to model configuration data and this document also specifies the yang mappings to netconf protocol if we scroll down you should be able to see some of the netconf related standards netconf edit config and they have defined some standards for defining netconf edit and other configuration data and we don't have to bother about creating yang files those things will be defined by individual vendors or standard what is like ietf or rfcs we can just consume these data models and configure the device they have already defined all the standards here you can go to this particular github page and clone it we'll clone and see how to check the structure of a configuration using pyang later now let us go back to the cisco documentation here i'll open rfc of netconf netconf provides mechanism to install manipulate and delete the configuration of network devices so this uses rpc remote procedure call remote procedure call is nothing but a server to client communication client will be requesting server for some data server will internally process the request and respond with the data and here they have defined the standards of netconf protocol and we can see the protocol layer netconf will be using ssh for communicating with device and on top of that they have rpc reply and rpc messages then operations like edit config we have seen in the yang and then we have configuration data and if you want to get the yang data model to communicate through netcon we can use the tool called yang suite and later we have a video on how to install this yang suite and add a device map all the data models so here once you install yang suite you can go to protocols netconf and i have already created a yang set here we can give any particular data model here i am giving cisco ios xe native load modules 
and this is a vendor specific data model and from here we can click on any particular configuration then build RPC and here you will be getting the data if I use this particular data using netconf protocol I'll be able to get the host name of the device now if you want to get the host name of the device from Yangsuit you can click on run RPC and I need to select the device here I have already added it I'll click on run RPC and this will connect to the device and get the data so here this is connecting to the device and you can see this is sending a hello message and using the port number 834 netconf then this is a get config operation and this is the data which yangsuit is sending to the device and we can see the response from the device here so the device name is csr173 you can verify that The host name is CSR173. We are getting same data from Yangsuit. And later we have a video on how to install this Yangsuit and set up this. Now I am just showing how to explore the Yang data model using Yangsuit. And if you want to do this from SSH. We will verify whether netconf is enabled or not in the device using show run pipe include netconf. To enable netconf you need to execute this command I have already enabled in this device. So now I can use port 830 for connecting to the device. I will ssh-p port 830 and username and password. And I'm getting the capabilities list from the device by default. So devices by default responding with the capabilities. And this is the standard procedure of netconf protocol. And here in the end you can see a delimiter. This means end of the message. Once I receive this data from the device, we need to send a hello message from our machine and I have already copied and pasted it you can get this from Cisco documentation I'll just paste this data enter now connection is established between client and the device and to get the configuration you can go to Yang suit I can copy this and paste it here I'll enter and here also we are getting same data like this if you want to get the complete configuration so here also I'm using get config method and I'm trying to get running configuration I'll copy this paste it Now I have received complete configuration from the device. So this is also in XML format. And same like this, if you want to configure the host name, you can go to the Yang suit and here instead of get config, you can give edit config and give a string. I'll give the name CSR and I can clear the previous RPC and click on build so now this is edit config target you can see it is running config and the new host name you can see here 
if I copy paste this data, so we'll be able to configure the device. So we have received RPC replay, okay. Now let me just check the host name. So here you can see host name has changed. And in this way you can use netconf protocol for configuring the device. So we have seen it from Yang suit and over SSH. In case of netconf, we'll be always using XML data as per the protocol standards. Currently it supports only XML data for configuring the device. You can see that here. So this will be using XML data for configuring the device. Now let us go back to the GitHub page of Yangsuit. First we'll try to clone this particular repository. I'll copy this. And I'll close this connection. And I'm into the home directory here. I'll create a directory called YangDemo. CD Yang demo. We'll try to clone here. For running the git command, first you need to install the git into Ubuntu machine. So you can execute sudo apt install git. I have already installed it here. And once you install git in the machine, you can give git clone. git clone and the location once we give enter this will be cloning the complete files from this repository and here we can see two folders one is standard and that contains IETF and RFC defined standards let us open IETF RFC And we will look into IETF hyphen interfaces. And here they have given some standards to the interface configuration. We'll open this one. And they will be following the previously seen Yang data model standard defined in this RFC. So any device which supports this particular data model should accept configuration which is following this standard. And here the cloning is successful. Now if you want to install PyYang, you can install it using sudo or you can install it using pip install by yang and i have already installed by yang in this machine and now to get the data in a tree format let me go back to this particular file You can copy this directory and here if you see ls I have a yang directory and I'll give cd and from here we can execute by yang hyphen f tree and ietf interfaces dot yang so here we'll be getting the structure of the interface configuration and 
these values are writable data you can see here rw you can do read or write on interface name on description type and all and the data types also you can see here and some of the interface statistics you can see these are read only now let us go back to the Cisco documentation and in this documentation we can see they are comparing Yang elements to Python class containers as dictionaries and if you want to see the structure here they have given an example using pyyang command and this entire section is called containers in yang model and inside elements they are calling as list and this is another container and you can see the module name and leaves of each container and all these concepts these containers are like the containers of yang data model not like kubernetes or docker containers these are some terms they are using within yang data model now we'll go to the next page intro to netconf so here also they have given the tcp ip format of the netconf protocol and transport they are using tcp ip ssh connection and messages rpc here we'll be sending rpc reply and rpc and operations are going to be git config or edit config all this we have seen earlier here here we were doing edit config and then we'll be sending the configuration data so these are the configuration data and netconf operation details also you can see here i hope now you are clear on how to do the netconf connection with network device and the structure of yang data model in the next tutorial we'll see how to initiate netconf connection from python script